Republicans in these border committee hearings can look foolish quite often because they really need the border to be a talking point for them in their elections. But Joe Biden and his border policies and the Border Patrol are actually seizing more fentanyl than we've ever seized at the border. They're they're locking it down. But if you're a Republican, you really need Joe Biden to fail at the border so you can try to raise funds that way. Now, Jared Moskowitz, a uh, Democrat from Florida, isn't letting Republicans get away with trying to paint the border how they want to paint it. So here's Jared Moskowitz during a border hearing putting Republicans in their place. Well, we've heard a lot about the cartel, doctor. And so, and the drug trafficking trade that's going on in Mexico. And so, I, I want to ask you a, a question, doctor. These cartels, these drug traffickers, in addition to the drugs that they're carrying, do you know what else they like to carry? It's not a trick question. Just yell it out when you know it. Guns. They like to carry guns, Dr. Gupta, right? That's what protects the cartel. That's what protects the drug trade. Do you know where they get their guns? Do you know where the cartel, the guys that they're talking about, get their guns? You know where they get their guns? From uh, illicit illegal purchases. That's right. And do you know where those illicit illegal purchases are happening and where, where they're coming from? Largely from the United States. That's right. According to the U.S. Customs and Border, Border, Border Control, 200,000 guns pour over the border every year from the U.S. to Mexico. These weapons are being used to contribute to organized crime. They're being used by the drug trade, the cartel, and 70% of all of the weapons the cartel is using are manufactured in the United States. The drug sales and the cartel and China what they're doing is intentional. I agree with my colleagues across the aisle. I think what the cartel in China is doing is intentional. But so is what the gun manufacturers are doing. It's intentional. And so all of these guns manufactured here, pouring over the border, we, the United States, are arming the cartel. We, the United States, are allowing the cartel to protect the illicit drug trade by allowing guns manufactured here to pour over the border. My colleagues across the aisle are very concerned about things coming in, but they have no concern about weapons going out. You learn a lot there from Moskowitz. 200,000 guns every year, and that's just an estimate, is going to the cartel, going to Mexico. 70% of the cartel's weapons are manufactured in the United States. Moskowitz was on point there. We are arming these cartels. And so it's really funny that you have the Republican Party who they just want to pretend the cartels are the most powerful beasts that have ever existed on the planet. And Joe Biden is just a coward who can't stand up to him. But oh, who are the ones who will go to any measure to defend uh, guns in America? It's the GOP. It's the Republican Party. This is a real issue that the cartels are using to arm themselves. Republicans can't talk about that, right? Because the NRA, because the Second Amendment, they make so much money trying to paint this extreme picture that Democrats are all coming for your guns. They've positioned themselves so extreme to the right that they can't even address the reality of what's taking place between the United States and Mexico. It's, oh, we're being overwhelmed with these immigrants and fentanyl. But then you have the Biden Border Patrol seizing the most amount of fentanyl in American history. This is Dan Goldman, another Democrat, uh, who exposes Republicans' hypocrisy on the fentanyl issue. So you, you, you try to stop fentanyl from coming into the United States, right? Correct. And in fact, uh, we have seen some statistics recently that 
Um, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle have touted that there has been more success by this administration in seizing fentanyl coming into the United States. Is that right? Yes, Congressman. Well, I, I guess I'm a little troubled by uh, tweets such as this from a, hold it up, please, a colleague of mine from New York who criticizes President Biden uh, because in, during his administration, more than 34,000 pounds of deadly fentanyl has been seized at the southern border. That means that it did not come in to our communities, right? Yes, Congressman, if the assertion is we should let all of this come in and kill Americans, I will disagree with that every single day and every single minute. Right, we're trying to stop the fentanyl with, from coming in. And Republicans don't want to face the reality that Biden's border patrol and border strategies are working, so they just create their own realities. Their own, their own facts, as Kellyanne, Kellyanne Conway would say, their alternative facts. And it's just not real. It's just not real. So in the lead up to this 2024 election, you know, the border is going to be an issue. But we have to remember that if it's a Republican talking about the border, the odds of what they're saying being uh, standing in truth it's highly unlikely.